mouth. Put it back. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> This is, this is Laura Kane after dark. Thank you for tuning in so much. We really appreciate it. Eric is trying like hell to suck in a yawn. Because she brought it up. No, because Brian just yawned. Okay, just so you know, the show did open with put it back in your mouth, put it back in your mouth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way. Oh, I'm Laura Kane, by the way. Eric Rimmer. Hi. Producer Brian. And oh, excuse me. Oh, geez. Oh, Louise. No. Please, you guys. <laughs> Sorry, I know tired. we're all tired. I have we're all tired. Now, look, Eric is wearing an outfit that yes. I forgot I bought for the contest. I actually good. bought four Thank things you. and I didn't yeah. realize it came in the other day. It's a matching leopard uh, short suit. Yeah, look. I'll say I is, think it's kind of cute, actually. If, if he took a jog up to Urban Moe's, he could he could go home with like he three different men. Went, oh God! <laughs> oh. One thousand percent. Yeah. No, thank you. Get you get so many compliments on that. Oh, would I? You'd go home with a big old dick for sure. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, you. Lo- I think it looks I'm cute. Horrified. I think it what? looks cute. Thank you. Anyway, that's how we're starting the show. I'm, All right. Great. I'm starting to itch. I know. Okay, I have a bunch of rando news stories. I have some great questions for the question game. Brian has something for his wild card that we're going to end with. Uh-huh. And we have our host chat. We do. We also have our <clears throat> fabulous sponsors that help us put on this podcast every week, twice a week, every week. And one of those would be La Jolla Cosmetic Surgery oh, Center. Yeah, baby. One of our favorites. Hi, and Dr. Here's Riedler, I need. Hi, Dr. Swiston, who gave me my boobs. I appreciate Hi. you. And, here's and they gave more. me my new face. I know. We love them. Here's more about La Jolla Cosmetic <laughs> Surgery Center. La Jolla Cosmetic Surgery Center is the place to go if you're looking to rejuvenate your appearance, tighten and shape your body, and just do something special for yourself. You deserve to look your very best. La Jolla Cosmetic Surgery Center offers over 90 procedures and treatments for a natural, youthful appearance. They are absolutely the best in the business. Try out their treatment planner at glamfam.com. It's so easy and amazing to use. We can't say enough great things about their board certified plastic surgeons and guess what? They offer flex payment plan so you can start your journey to a better you right now free consultations too the very best in the business is in our own backyard how lucky are we make sure you tell them that laura kane after dark sent you we love everything about la jolla cosmetic surgery center go to glamfam.com boobs <laughs> i know boo lots of boobs Lots boobs. of boobs. We love the Hawaii Cosmetic. We also love a man named Jay Wurzler. He we do. works for Capital Growth Inc. Hi, he Jay. is Capital Growth Inc. And he's a money manager and he's a great guy who will help you grow your money. Here's more. Are you ready to take control of your financial future? Look no further than Jay Wurzler, your trusted and our favorite certified financial planner. Life is full of financial decisions, and with 30-plus years of experience and a dedication to your financial well-being, Jay is your partner in achieving your financial goals. So if you're at or near retirement and you want to know if you have sufficient assets and income sources for a comfortable retirement, or if you are simply changing jobs and you're unsure about what your options are with your current retirement, plan, please reach out to Jay. Jay Wurzler and the team at Capital Growth go the extra mile to ensure your financial success. Their office is a one-stop shop for financial advising, estate planning, tax preparation, and divorce analysis. Call Jay today at 858-552-6960 or email him at jayw at capitalgrowthinc.com. And our newest sponsor on the podcast is San Diego Crystals and Jewelry. Follow them on Instagram at SD Crystals and Jewelry. These guys are brothers. I think there's like, I want to say eight. And they run these jewelry stores. One is in OB on Mm -hmm. Newport. That's the one where Evan and I, we discovered these guys. We went in there one day and I'm like, this place is awesome. It's got all every kind of crystal. Like, hold this up. Look at all these crystals. They know what every crystal means. They're, they have every single kind of crystal you could possibly want. They can make them into jewelry, like my really cool uh, ring they made 
I know my <laughs> nail polish is horrible, but my ring is beautiful. They fix jewelry. They have engagement rings. They have gold. They have silver. They have anything you want. And you know what they also have? What? A brand new location. Yay. 1075 Prospect Street in La Jolla. Yes, they just had the grand opening. And at that location, they have really beautiful scarves for women. So If you tell them Laura Kane After Dark sent you, you get a free amethyst crystal. Excellent. That's the really beautiful purple kind. Oh, yeah. And I don't know if you can find that on there real quick and what it means because there's uh, an awful lot of... It's purple. There's so I many. I know, there's so many. Anyway, so make sure you tell them, Laura. Oh, it's right here. Okay, what is it? Does it say... Can you read that? Or you, I cannot. <laughs> We're it's so old. It's very small print. I cannot read it. <laughs> Stress relief. Oh. Protection. I guess what? Disperses negative energies. Ooh, I need that for... Against right Hester. Now. For me? Yeah. Oh, okay. You've been vibing me a little bit hard to damp tonight. No, I haven't. A little bit. For <laughs> show, for show, for show. <laughs> what did I say? Just for, it's not what you said. Can't it's win. how you. Can't win with this woman, I swear. It, oh my God, <laughs> it's no. Been it's very <laughs> difficult. I've been, very, been, sen- I've been very sensitive and I've been very bossy today. She's I'm been very, very bossy and difficult and I unpleasant am. since her landslide loss. Stop it. Of anyway, the Timu gift yeah. exchange. San Diego crystals <laughs> and jewelry. Follow them on Instagram or just go to their stores in Obi or La Jolla. What I are you doing? You. I love you. I love you too, but sometimes <laughs> you annoy me. <gasps> And you might go back in the refrigerator. See, oh my see, God. Oh, I, I'm not the one that's being oh, somebody. Somebody else needs to. No, because we need him to show up. I can't put Brian in the freezer. No. Oh. And you know what? I Just for that, I'm going to go on Timu and see if I can get toilet paper with your face on it. <laughs> She's like, you're vibing, me a little, you. she, you're vibing me a little hard. She turns around. She starts flinging insults at everybody. <laughs> I yeah. know. I know. I'm right. a mess. Does I'm anybody mess. know how to make toilet paper with Laura's face on it? <laughs> I'm sure you can do it on Amazon. Oh my Trust God. Me. I'm going to look. Trust me. All right, so now it's host chat time. We also have Brian's wild card coming up. We also have some great rando news stories and some awesome questions that I can't wait to hear your answers because we love playing the question game. We do. Okay, so my host chat is about Vegas. I went to Vegas last week. I went from Thursday to Saturday. Um, Antonio is looking to, for, to move. And he's looking for maybe possibly something new. I'll just put it that way. I don't want to give his business. But I have a friend who I used to work in radio with back in 1994, 95, 96. We we called him Butch the Baker on the air because he was a Navy baker. And then he ended up in radio because he just loved it and he worked his way up. And he used to be there overnights when I'd show up for the Jeff and Jerry show. I'd show up early. And we would just talk. We just had a great relationship. And, and then he moved. And then he, then he started opening up homie cinnamon rolls, which are oh my God. which were in stadiums across the country. Like he started popping up in these stadiums and having these, because he mm. sells the best cinnamon rolls ever. So now he's located in Vegas. So I reached out to Butch. I'm like, hey, you know, do you know of any, you know, deals? Because Vegas is not cheap anymore. Oh, in no, fact, it's not. Vegas is extremely expensive now yeah when we were in college we could go on a we would take a road trip from the dorm overnight go to vegas get a hotel room for 29 dollars get a buffet for six dollars vegas used to be cheap Mm -hmm. not anymore nope he got us a room overlooking the fountains at the bellagio I paid this much. Zero. He, that's his kind of connections he has in Vegas. That's how, like how great Butch is. Oh it was God. the best thing ever. But so eating, guess, guess where I ate? Guess where I ate? No, I didn't eat at Vanderpump. No. Did I eat at um, Burger King? N- <laughs> in and out. <laughs> Did you? I had to save some money because I took $100 exactly to gamble. And of course, I'm a dumb dumb, and I blew it on the slots. When Never in reality, I know. So Butch was telling us that he plays Keno, and Keno, you play it on the machines, and you just you just pick random numbers, and then they if you hit the numbers, if you hit a certain amount, you get a certain amount of money. He's won like eighteen thousand dollars playing. He walked in once with ten dollars and walked out with eighteen grand. <laughs> And I'm like, why doesn't something like that ever happen to me? I walk in with a hundred, I walk out with zero usually. 
but um, it was it was BravoCon, so it was so packed. We wanted to get Taco Bell delivered to the Bellagio. I thought that that was like my big expense, right? Wow. DoorDasher canceled on us because it he could not physically get to the Bellagio because of BravoCon. Oh yeah, and all the all the other people that were there. It was so incredibly crowded, and like you said, half naked people on the street. Yep. Men, women, butt cheeks, butt implants, boobs, yep. uh, you know, you, you name it. The guy's flicking the papers uh -huh. at you. I, I mean, almost had, when I went to see um, Miranda Lambert, I almost had a breakdown. Oh, my God. Being on that, on that Vegas strip because it was too much. I really, really wanted to see you two at the Sphere. Marla saw them this I'm weekend. I'm sure. Oh, she was there this weekend? Yeah. See, that was what I really wanted, but mm -hmm. tickets... My my thing was like, okay, well, maybe if we do this, if we show up after the show has started, maybe if there's tickets left, they'll sell them at like bargain basement yeah. prices. And Butch said, no, they're going to want every single penny. And the lowest ticket price was like $550. Oh. <laughs> this is just like, it's an experience that is like so incredible. Everybody says it's just so yeah. amazing. And the sphere is such, it's, you have to, if you are sitting up in the higher seats, you have to walk up a certain way and watch where yeah. you're walking. Otherwise, vertigo, yeah. big time. If you suffer from that, the sphere is no bueno. Yeah, no bueno. But it is so cool, you guys, seeing it up The close. videos that it she posted is, were incredible. I mean, it just looks insane. I mean, dang. If you're a stoner, I'm sure it's probably like the most incredible thing you've ever seen in your life. I'm sure it's that way anyway, but I'm sure there was a lot of people there that were, you know, impaired. Like Chi Chen Chong. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Yeah. But anyway, I, and you know, what's funny. I did watch a video of, um, of the concert just to see what the sky looked oh, like, yeah, the ceiling. It's crazy. And all I saw were people with like gray hair, gray hair, gray hair. <laughs> you two was like, you know, mm -hmm. our era. Yeah. Gray hair, gray hair. Gray watch what you're hair. watch what you're saying, King. I, know, I was laughing though. <laughs> like nobody like young is going to see you two at the sphere. Maybe, maybe, but whatever. I'm still gunning for uh Kylie Minogue. I'm sure you can get I, a ticket. Uh no you can't. Oh come on, please. You cannot. Who is who is vying for those tickets so hard? She had to add dates. It was well, so I'm, that I'm happy for her. That's great. Yeah. But not happy for me. Did you just write? I on know. Me? I think I did by accident. Great. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I am going to see Kelly Clarkson next year. Are you? Yes. What in month? In Vegas. Uh, I think in February. There's so <clears throat> many shows. Like Babyface was there. Usher was there. Brad Garrett's <clears throat> there. Um, who else? Da uh, Baby was there. Who? Da Baby. Who's that? He's a rapper, Da Baby. Oh, you I know Da Baby. No, um, no, no. And then they had a huge, big, giant selling sunset video screen right oh. outside the Bellagio window. I'm like, oh god, this show won't, won't leave me alone. This yeah. damn show that oh, I can't yeah. watch. But anyway, it's a great. I mean, it's a really cool place to go for two days, oh, three yeah. days, maybe not. Uh, like there's no. a limit. Yeah. There's a limit to how much smoke you can get in your eyes, uh -huh. in your lungs. And, well, and now, did you hear that there's a huge bed bug problem in Las Vegas? I hate that you just said that because when I woke up, I had a, I didn't have a cluster of bites because I think they, they, they bite in clusters, right? They do. But I think I, I had like a couple bites, like just two or three on my body. And I'm like, where did these come from? I wasn't I wasn't really outside that much. It couldn't be could it be, be No. Yeah, a bunch really? of hotels in Vegas. I heard all of France. There's like a huge oh my epidemic. God. Did you see that video that they posted on like TikTok that hotel room? No. And the floor was just moving and it was oh, all Oh, don't bed even bugs. tell me that. Don't even tell me that. Don't even oh tell me God. that. Oh my god. Oh, that is so Hold on. incredibly gonna, gross. I'm no, I don't want to see it. I can't. Gonna find so it nobody's you. going to France right now. Allegedly, oh. the France one was intentional too. Someone bred them. Was it? Them. Allegedly, that's a that's a conspiracy. But. Well, who it, who like from who? Some random dude. Who hates France? I guess an anarchist. Huh? Wow. I mean, it's just. 
kind of crazy that they can't eradicate these bugs, you know, in one fell swoop. Pretty resilient. Ugh, they're like cockroaches that way. Oh my God. Oh, Eric, don't. Please don't. He just, uh, I, he just scrolled past a leg covered with bites. Let me see. No, no. Oh, I'll oh show no, you. no. Oh my God. Oh, I don't need to see that. I know it's <laughs> totally. Oh, no, I don't want it. No, so, okay, enough, <laughs> enough, enough, enough. All right, so that's my host chat, my little Vegas trip, and it was fun. It was it was short, but it was great seeing Butch, and he's he's doing awesome. Soon to be open in Caesar's Palace, so that's Butch, really great. Butch, send the me bigger. some cinnamon rolls. Hold me cinnamon rolls, everybody. Oh my God, please um, send okay. me some. Mr. Rimmer, you're up with yes, your host chat. Miss Kane, what's up in your life? What's up with you? <laughs> what's up? <laughs> what's up? <laughs> um. So, Thanksgiving's coming. Yes, it is. Right? This month, yeah. What are you doing for Thanksgiving? Probably going to my mom's with... Evan's coming into town. Oh, she is? Uh Uh-huh. And then we're going to probably drive up to Ranch Cucamonga and be with my mama. Why? Were you going to invite me somewhere? Well, no, I'm going to San Francisco. Oh. Oh. Yes, for a week. Uh, Oh. Yes. To see... Do you want to say who, or are you just going to see some friends? Oh, fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that, are you, so you're going to have Thanksgiving with those friends? Yes. Are you going, are you going like on a Monday? Or are you going I'm on leaving on a, mm, like a Wednesday and I'm coming back on a Monday. Are you staying in a hotel? Or are you staying with? No, I'm staying with friends. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's a long time to stay with friends, a week. So my question to you is, um, what Thanksgiving items are your favorites? Like if you, if we had a Thanksgiving dinner, a Laura Kane after dark Thanksgiving dinner, and we had the turkey and all the fixins, what would you go for first and what would you not touch at all? Okay. Definitely, I'm down with the stuffing. I like it. Mm-hmm. But don't put raisins in it like my uncle used to. Oh, no. I like mashed potatoes. Mm-hmm. I'm not fond of the turkey. I feel like it's dry I and agree. bland. I think turkey should be replaced. Like I think turkey should be thank- taken out of Thanksgiving. Or maybe I just, we've never really had it prepared. Mm-hmm. I think we should just replace it with ham. Ham is better. Oh, honey baked ham. Honey baked ham is delicious. Oh my it's God. It's just so much better. You're totally right. But that's more Eastery, right? No, it's Christmas. It, oh, it's Christmas too, yeah. Oh. But let's just double it up. It's that good. I, Get rid of the I agree. turkey. I do like that green bean casserole thing with the onions on the top. Gross. Ew. I do like that. I love green beans. I do not like it with the with that with the onions. Oh, see, I like that. Now I can't do any kind of Jello mold, any kind of ambrosia, any kind of any of that crap. Green green Jello is a staple at my house. Oh, same with me. But it's so good though. No, it's not. Well, then you haven't had good green jello. My mom used to put avocado in it. Isn't that Wait, disgusting? what? Ew, yes. no. I know. I wish we could Mary. call Mary Heater. It's okay. too late. But um, I I like my food. It's pretty much beige, mm-hmm. except for the green bean casserole, which is kind of beigey with all well, the with stuff, the with this on onion it, yeah. soup in it. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's about it. Like, I, I don't- Do you like I, cranberries? No. <laughs> and I don't like salads. Like, I don't like a, I don't like, I'm not a salad person. I just don't like salad. I don't know. Uh, mm-hmm. What else is there um, besides that? Uh, okay. Now we're at the root of the thing. Uh-oh. Pies. Okay. Pumpkin pie sucks. Yeah, I hate pumpkin yeah, pie. Yeah, agreed. Pumpkin pie is weird. Gross. Texture, too. Mm-hmm. The texture is terrible. When- it's gelatinous. I don't like it. Also, if you ever notice, everyone loves pumpkin spice lattes. Yeah. But Ooh. they always have to mix in like caramel or cinnamon or something. It's uh-uh. never just hate. pumpkin spice. Nothing it's always spice. Pumpkin. I don't ever yeah. care. About- when they come out with the pumpkin uh-uh. stuff at okay, Starbucks. No. Pumpkin seeds are kind of good, though. Yes, for Halloween when you yeah. bake them. And the- yes, pumpkin I. Pumpkin pie is not good that no. good, though. I can do mm, oh, pecan. I love pecan Ew. pie. Sorry. I can't. I apple pie. Apple pie is apple so, pie. I can apple do pie is so good. Cherry pie is my favorite. Cherry pie is delicious. Okay, I love cherries. That's a little sweet though. Key lime. No. Key what? Lime's good. Yeah, Blech. key lime's good. No, and and no Brian, lemon. Brian, can you come up? Laura, get out of the Lemon share. frothy, whatever the lemon. <gasps> lemon meringue. Nah, 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 what? Meringue. Lemon, I can't meringue do meringue. Is, I don't like lemon, but lemon meringue is good. Lemon meringue is delicious. Only pecan and cherry for me. That's it. I, I'm apple all the way. Apple pie. Apple. Yeah. 
hot with an uh, with ice cream on it oh, or yeah. cold? Sure. I don't care. Honestly, I don't care. I'm a cinnamon person, so I just want a oh yeah, I love cinnamon. cinnamon. Oh really? yeah. Oh yeah. I love cinnamon. What is your? Uh, what are you? You are not looking at that under my watch. He's still watching bed bug. He's watching bed oh, bug videos while we're on? talking about oh. yes. <laughs> Whoops. Now listen. What are you bringing to the dinner? What is your? Well, I'm not because I'm not bringing anything on the plane. Well, no, I we're mean, going out to you, dinner. Oh, you are going. I was mm-hmm. like, are you going to help prepare something? No, or, okay. we were, but then one of my friends has to work. So uh, by the time he got home, it, it wasn't going to work out for everybody. So you're going to go out to some fancy, nice well, restaurant or? Um, it's it's a nice restaurant. Yeah. yeah. Open on Thanksgiving. Okay. Yeah. So you'll get like a true Thanksgiving meal. Uh, I'm sure they'll have it. And yeah, have other. I'm sure it'll be a price fix menu or something. Have you ever like gotten the the like Thanksgiving meal to go from like Vaughn's? Yes, no, it's not bad. Mimi's Cafe has a great one. Oh, I bet theirs is cornbread too. Mimi's Cafe, yeah, their no. their Thanksgiving dinner is very good. I believe you. Yeah, um, I've done it a couple years in a row, and it's very good. Yeah, I, when you get it's the whole, it's a little sad though. Like, well, I know. Meal for well, one. Oh, it, no, 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 no. You can buy it for, th- they have, like, you know. F- feeds four, feeds six, yeah, feeds eight. Feeds eight. And then you can kind of customize what you want and what you don't want. It saves a lot of tr- time and trouble. It, it just, does. It just reminds me of the first Santa Claus movie with Tim Allen where he takes his son to Denny's for a Christmas dinner. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, theirs is very traditional though. And the, and the nice thing That's is good. is that they, because I do not know how to slice a turkey. I have never me, in how to my. slice a turkey years i, I never have I've so never cooked i never have either so uh, they slice it for you everything and it's deli- it, it, the turkey was absolutely delicious it was moist and tender and it was not dry i cannot very good. get i don't think i'll ever i think i'm gonna make a statement right now i will never in my life <clears throat> prepare a turkey for thanksgiving dinner because I do not want to stick my hand in there. Oh no! Grab the junk out uh-uh. of that. The giblets. <laughs> yeah. Whatever's in there, uh-uh. and the neck, and the whatever, no. and the you have to sew it up with the oh, stuffing no. uh-uh. in it. No. It's a lot God of work. God bless you for yeah. that. Those of you that do this every single year, my hat is off to you. Every year, I like to do the stuffing of the potatoes. Oh, by the way, I made mashed I'm potatoes right now. Um, a couple days ago, that blew all my other mashed potatoes away cheese in it or not no lots of butter butter and milk and potatoes and that was it well salt and pepper salt and pepper and garlic oh, powder oh garlic powder wait mm-hmm. if you guys eat a baked potato how do you how do you dress it just like a baked potato baked potato is the only time ever that i will have sour cream on it okay oh okay you know what? I don't like sour cream, but I will eat it on a potato. Yeah, that's the that's only po- time I'll ever eat it is on a baked potato. I, I, I don't like sour cream. I like otherwise. chives too. I, I, I love, love chives. I like all the fixings, but I can also eat a sour or eat a baked potato with just salt. I, I can do it just salt. Um, I think I could too. What about the the outside of it? Can you eat that? I don't, I don't eat the sh- the uh, skin. <laughs> but okay. No. Because I can I can eat that too, but I usually don't. Yeah. I scoop it out. But um, And I'll tell you, if you can get organic potatoes, they make the best mashed potatoes. Oh, they're more mashable or something? Um, they just got a different taste to them. They're not as starchy. You know what I heard is a really good thing for you to eat are those purple potatoes. Oh, yeah. I eat those like all the they're time. They're very healthy for yeah. you. And I, um, when I'm just cooking at home um if i want potatoes i will mash up the um little yellow like medallion ones you leave the skin on and they mash really well and oh they're delicious i had potatoes yesterday in the form of french fries (laughs) oh of course Uh you did anyway so that was a that was a good question i liked it we learned a lot about each other i think bonding we're bonding. We are. Over Thanksgiving sure. meal. All right. <laughs> now I have the reason four ways that this time change is affecting our health. God. Do we like the time change? Do we not like the time change? I hate it. I hate it. Do we want uh, the law to pass that we keep it the same? Yes. Yes. It's so dumb. So archaic. It's I like so getting dumb. an extra hour, but not at the expense of it being dark at like four. No. It's, it's, 
it's awful. I sure love that hour though. I, I know. Really not do. worth it. Okay. Well, here is a beside. Okay. You gain an hour, but here's what happens. You have the possibility of getting cluster headaches. They tend well, to happen in six to eight week cycles and people have more of them this time of year. Well, I get them when I come into this house. <laughs> Why? On contact. Once he c- crosses the <laughs> threshold. You see, the theory is because the part of our brain that generates cluster headaches also manages our circadian rhythm. So that's why we get headaches this time of year. Seasonal affective disorder or SAD. Oh. Shorter days mean less sunlight, less vitamin D. So depression is more common this Mm -hmm. time of year. It can be hard on people with Alzheimer's and dementia. They tend to be more affected by this. We better, yeah. I know. Because when we're old- I know. I'm don't don't jinx me. Don't stop it. Don't stop jinx it. Me stop either. it. I know I won't. And then strokes and heart attacks. Springing forward in March has a bigger effect, but there's a small spike this time of year too. Heart attacks and strokes. So it, this really does affect us in many many yeah. ways. I don't like it. You need to get rid of it. It's pointless. Um, put on the rando news uh, music because I have a couple of little stories I want, and I want Eric, Eric, what. I want you to get up and just like pretend you're at a club. Oh, I'm in the perfect dan- outfit. And you're dancing. I want to okay. see. No, honestly, don't dance goofy. <laughs> I want to see like, I just want to see how you dance. Well, I'm not a club goer. Just pretend. Just start dancing. Somebody goes, come out on the dance floor, Eric. Let's dance. Okay. No I know this is kind of slow, but let's see you. Really get into it. Okay. So no, just keep okay. going. Keep going. Okay. okay. All right. Then you pass. Okay. Great. Because new sign that you're getting old, dancing with your hands in the air. I didn't have my hands in I the air. I know. So that's good for you. Oh, good for I me. I was hoping that you were oh, going to do that, goodness. though. Okay, great. If you think it looks cool to put your hands in the air, think again. TikTok says, mm-mm. It's not. Sign okay. you're getting old. Okay. More stories are always interesting until they get to the source. It's just like from TikTok. I know, right? I know. I've Whatever. Seen on Reddit. Well, here's another TikTok hack. Do you like oh, hacks? No, they're dumb. TikTok says we should all be keeping a roll of toilet paper in our refrigerator. Done. My new Laura Kane Just for toilet me. paper face <laughs> will be going there in the freezer. That's like that like knocks out like three things at once. Why do you <laughs> think why do you think that? Rings a toilet. No, why, <laughs> why hemorrhoids. Do you think? Something no, to do with hemorrhoids. No. Oh. It can absorb moisture. It can help with unpleasant odors in there. <laughs> Duh. But experts agree your classic box of baking soda does the job better. But if you're in a pinch, if you can use I that. Walked, if I opened up your refrigerator and saw a roll of toilet paper in there, I, I think you were insane. I know. I know. Well, you already do. Whatever. <laughs> so Billboard came out with a list of the 500 best pop songs of all time. Oh, let me guess. Number one is probably like Thriller. Not like, even close. Really? Uh, number. Should we I'm, guess? I'll who, just give you the top ten because I mean I have twenty, but let's not get, oh let's not God. get crazy. Is Madonna's "Like a Virgin" on there? Uh, no, "Like a Prayer" is on there. Or though. I mean, "Like a Prayer." Yeah. Um, that is number six. Oh, but okay. No. I want to hold your hand. The Beatles is number ten. No. Hmm. California love. Tupac. Oh God. And uh, no. Uh, uh, wh- whatever that one is number nine now this one remember carly ray jepson call yes. me maybe yeah they put her at number eight of the best pop songs of all time what yeah, that's, that's terrible this is billboard magazine like they're credible wait are these subjective or are these based on like of like objective figures like how many how long they were on the charts for or something that's okay what it's it like it it's been 65 years since the creation of the billboard hot 100 chart so in celebration staff members over at billboard.com put together the list of the 500 best pop songs since its debut yeah hmm. these people need to be fired billy jean is number seven all right my michael there's better michael jackson songs than billy jean yeah thriller Yes. Thriller, is, thriller could be the be- the top pop song of all time. I l- never, never gets old. Always awesome. Yeah. Always fun to hear. Iconic for its time, too, especially. Your girl's on here that you're going to see. Kylie Minogue? No, your other girl. Kelly Clarkson? Since you've been gone. That's number five. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, right. I know. I mean, yeah, all right. Coming in at number four, 
a Backstreet Boys song. What? I, I want it, it that way. way. Tell me why. Ain't nothing. nothing. Yeah, it's I'll a good that. song. I'll give that number. That's fine. That That's a f- top 10. Share. Is Share on there? No. Oh. Uh, Believe isn't on there? No. The Temptations My Girl is number three. Okay. Do we have a problem with that? I mean, it could be lower on the list, it's I think. It's fine. I wouldn't put in top 10, though. Now, number two, I agree with just because everybody is like, like falls over themselves when they hear this song. Taylor Swift. Dancing Queen ABBA. Oh, yeah. 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 I can see that. I, I would say the other one, The Temptations, My yeah, Girl, yeah. is a little more R&B, though. So I'm surprised it's... A pop song? Uh, that high on the... I yeah. Th- tempt- my Girl's not R&B. My Girl. It's very know, slow. I don't know if I'd call it pop. But yeah, I wouldn't call it pop. I'd probably call it alter- alternative. And number one. Oh, wait. Is it a woman? Yes. She's dead. Oh, I know who it is. Who? Winnie Houston. What song? Uh, the From the Bodyguard. Nope. What? Just say it. I want to dance with somebody. Hell no. Oh, what? what? I want to be with somebody. What's the one from the Bodyguard? No. Um. I want to dance with somebody's number one. But what, oh, what's no. the what's the one from the Bodyguard that made her so famous? I don't know. Um, uh, uh, and I, I will always love you. Will always love and Celine you. Dion wasn't song. on there. Nope. My songbird well, wasn't I on know. there. She might be down. My Canadian in the 20s. songbird. Oh. She might be down there. In that the was 20s. a crappy list. Let me see that list. Okay, here you go. What about what about Bohemian Rhapsody? I know. Well, that is um, damn. I don't Britney's, see it on here. I mean, Nicki Minaj. I know. Come what the hell? On. Wait, how is not a single queen hit in the top 10? Um, no. Bohemian Rhapsody should have been top Mariah five. Carey Fantasy? Really? I know, right? TLC Scrubs is number 20. Oh, that was a good song. Ew, no, that's not a good song. There's so many more songs that could be. The Ronettes might be my baby. Oh. Be my, be that's, my baby. That's a good song. That's a good song. Anyway, so September was good. Oh, Dreams, September, Fleetwood Mac. Yeah. September really is good. good. Break the chain, though. I put higher than Dreams. Hey, yeah. Break the chain. Wait, sing that. And if you don't love me now. Oh, oh yeah, I, that was I, good. Oh, me again. Oh, yeah, I put that, that way higher that, than Dreams. Totally. The song Landslide, which also pertained to Laura's. <laughs> Shut it. Loss last right. week. Right. Now. Okay. Now, I just have a very few. I got a game that is called Ransom Notes, and I was going to try to play it on the podcast, but the way it's played, I tried it out, and it's it takes too long, but I got some good questions okay. from it. I want you guys each to humble brag about your best traits. Humble brag. You go first, Brian. Humble brag about your best traits. I'm really good at everything. Please be a little bit more specific than that. <laughs> I produce a mean podcast. Okay. Me- mean as in good. I'm fucking hilarious. Okay. Um, mm. Be let, pretty creative. Re- okay. Yes, you are. Pretty logical. Very. I think those are my best traits. Okay. Eric. And do it humbly. Humbly brag about your best traits. So I think that I'm funny. True. Are you sure? Just kidding. Yeah, I think that I'm a, a snappy dresser. Well, not right now. <laughs> he says wearing um, a leopard print. I think I'm kind. Very. And I think I'm a good I'm, listener. Unless you're Jerome's. I know. Oh, unless yeah. you. <gasps> oh, by the way. What? Oh my God. So um, one of my coworkers was thinking about buying something on Jerome's. And I was like, don't look at the review. They put it down in the un- like of course they did the, the one that they kind of gray out so guess what i did stuck it wrote another one i went in and copied it and put it back on so now it's <laughs> oh all the way back up at the top eric and you know the funny thing on youtube guess what commercial plays before our yeah. podcast jerome's it's just it's so fun it's just, okay it's you know what knew. we're getting into the season of joy forgiveness yes so so Jerome's suck a bag of dicks. Oh my god! Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I think that I am loving. Yeah. I'm very kind. Yes. I'm helpful. You are. I am willing 
do, do anything. Do anything. <laughs> For money. Oh, I'm very open. Yes. And I'm very honest. Yes. And I... Um, you are. And I'm very transparent. Yes. Cool. Is, is that and, enough? And you're a very yeah. good friend. I think... Thank Agreed. you. You're welcome. <laughs> Never mind. And you're going to... If I say... When I say this... You're going to say something about it. Okay, I won't. Go ahead. I think that I am kind of smart. I think you're very smart. <laughs> right now, it's no comment. I knew it. Oh, of course I knew it. Yeah. <laughs> Play the crickets. That's nice. Okay. okay. Here's another question for you guys. Why... Are you so tired? Eric, <laughs> why are you so tired? The time change. <clears throat> oh, really? I think some of us work hard nine to five jobs. True. And then come here. Mm-hmm. That too. Anything else you want to add? I mean, is there, is there other things you're dealing with that's why you're so tired? I'm a little under the weather. Is that why you're sucking on something right now? Yeah, I've got terrible <laughs> allergies. Oh, you do? So I find that blow jobs help. <laughs> That's why I suck. No, you're something <laughs> rattling oh around god. in your mouth. That was good. Oh yeah, I just my have god. terrible allergies. I'm super congested. It's like my head's gonna like implode. Oh ow. Do you get bad uh, sinus headaches? Oh I man. get every year I get Oh no. There was one year when I was especially when I was working at Chick-fil-A, we had a bad year I had a terrible year for allergies. So I had to work basically I was on like doped up on Benadryl for like how many a, hamburgers did you sneeze on? None. But oh. no, because I was doped up on Benadryl for a month and a half straight and I was I don't remember that month. I was a zombie. Oh my See, god. Is I that the only this- thing that helps you? Uh I don't take Benadryl anymore because Benadryl's like really bad for you. And if you get the dosage wrong, you can like start to wake out a little bit you can actually like hallucinate and stuff oh boy yeah so i just power through it and take something generic does claritin work or allegra or yeah. any of those things not really oh boy um i'm tired i'm really freaking tired and i know i don't have a full-time job but i got a lot of crap going on you do and i'm a, like a freaking i feel like i'm a hamster on a wheel every freaking day just trying to keep this boat afloat why did you point at your cross when you said boat i meant this body she, this she was this pointing at the being. little man in the boat this being, <laughs> this being. she's trying to keep him above water yeah today i had a big zoom call and then i had a meeting and then i brought a newcomer then i had a this and then i had a sponsor meeting and then i had to set up the podcast and then i did a video and then i did a teaser thing and then i did this and then i did that and i took elvis to the park and then you know there's this yeah, and then I worked yesterday, last night. I'm tired, and I've been waking up like at weird hours, like that four o'clock when I saw the ghost. Oh, maybe the ghost is waking you up. I know. Well, maybe you she is. See if, see if the ghost maybe is every time performing on you. Every time you fall asleep, Hester's me. like, hey, lady, wake up. You Brian? summoned me. God damn it, Brian. I don't feel bad. I know you don't. Un- until I see some actual proof of a ghost. Okay. Um, I don't want to do that. I really Look, don't want to further. If I don't want to provoke it. If that happens, I will pay for a cleansing. Well, that's not good enough. If I get a picture so. of a ghost on camera, if I get a picture of Hester on my cell phone, and I'm brave enough to face this being, and it actually shows up, mm-hmm. what are you going to do for, for me? Pay for a cleansing. Oh, you know what? I'm not satisfied. Okay, with that. well, what do you want? I want something more um, risky. I don't know. Maybe it has something to do, maybe like a, a money thing or like what? a bet or like a. This is the bet. What do you mean? You want me to make a bet if I lose a bet? Well, what is cleansing? What are you going to mean? I'll pay sage for someone, the house. I'll pay for someone to come through and do some nonsense and you can have peace of mind that's been cleansed. Okay. He'll pay me to I come in that. and sage your house. <laughs> I already have sage in a drawer. Oh, that, gonna, uh, Brian, that, that knocks did, out one of the it, steps. It so doesn't. Good. We're good to I'll go. I'll do a full cleansing. Thank I'll do you. Latin scripts. Uh, I'll do... I don't even know what that is, but it sounds scary. Latin scripts me. means me talking in my worst Spanish possible. You literally have a, a Catholic rights, passage of rights box. Use that. That's got everything you need. Oh, yeah, it does. <sighs> I just Holy don't, water, I know, cross. Right, right, right. Yeah. Well, I have a whole wall of them, but anyway. Yeah. And Ooh, if they turn upside down one night, take a picture oh. of that. 
Why did you have to say That'd that? That'd be insane. Brian, yeah, seriously? Oh, picture. my God. Now, if your wild card has anything to do with that damn Ouija board, I'm going to... Anyways. Oh, anyway, damn. okay, I have one more question, okay. and then it's Brian's wild card. Yes. You and your friends are starting a new death metal band. What's the name of the band? Chicks have- with dicks. Because <laughs> it rhymes. Um. Mine is dirt nap. <laughs> What? <laughs> you know what that means? It means you're dead. You're buried. Dirt nap. You're taking a dirt nap. Oh, my God. Dirt okay, nap. Okay, mine's either going to be concrete shoes or swimming with the fishes. Okay. Or sleeping with the fishes. Okay, your concrete shoes are sleeping with the fishes. Concrete Yours shoes is dirt I like nap. Mm-hmm. And it's a death metal band? Death metal band. Death metal band. Kill all vaginas. <laughs> I don't know. It's something like uh, something you would say. The nagging snatches. <laughs> God, that's very good. That is actually to come up with that. Yeah, that's pretty pretty good. Uh, all right, Brian, what are you gonna do? You gonna hop up here? You gonna stay there? What's up? I'm Wait, stay here Brian's wild card is well, I'm gonna everybody come up there in a second. Okay. So I have a Ouija board, which is the source of all of Laura's problems in mm. life. Um, that or herself, but one of those two things. Both. And you know, I thought I'm such a big collector, and I'm such a big fan of the show, despite the fact I <laughs> produce it. And make it the make it as good as it is. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't have any memorabilia from this show, so here's what I'm gonna have you guys do. I'm gonna have all of us sign this Ouija board. Maybe I'll frame it. Oh, and I'm gonna keep it. And if maybe ever happens, maybe we'll auction it off for fun or something. Oh, so I have sharpies. They're all black, unfortunately, but we're gonna sign the Ouija board, and then maybe I'll frame it or something. Oh, oh yeah, that's cool. Do we put like our logo on it or anything? Or no, no, that would. No, because we know what it's for. Oh my God, that was. Oh, see, that's that was like our most watched. Okay, not we're not on the letters. Oh my God, just looking at this is freaking me out again. Okay, here we'll remove that out of the way. So okay, where are you going to sign it near the Ouija or near the yes or the? I'm going to sign it near my favorite word. No. Wait, Brian, what was your vision for the here, here, here? Right, not on the letters. Okay, I'll sign mine. I'm going to do my near the numbers. That's, that's good. Okay. okay, here we go. I have a really bad signature, but I'm going to sign try to mine make it nice. next to my favorite word ever. That's a signature? Yeah, it's terrible. I told you. He's now he's drawing things. He's a beaut- he but this is Eric. This is perfect Eric fashion. He's got a cre- cre- he's not a guy. He's got has doesn't have a great one either. Okay, Brian, you sign. Let's see your signature. What do you what do, do you, you mean? I just signed my name. But it's just as messy as mine is. Brian, yours is just as messy as mine is too. No. Mine is a delight. You can I at think, least say see what mine let's, says. Here, let me hold it up for everybody to see. Now look. Brian says Brian, Brian. Yours says Eric <laughs> and mine says Eric. I know. I just go. Vo, 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 vo. Mine, mine used to be way better. Mine's not now. So are, one of these days when our podcast is like, if I ever, if I ever, and it's framed all nice and pretty, we may auction this off. I Hester. Now look, we're not asking to be visited right now. We're just signing it. Okay, so don't come tonight. I didn't even bring Okay, good. Oh, you didn't bring the planchette. That's cool. I love that idea. Oh, look at that. Are you like artistic or something? Not autistic. Are you artistic? Oh, God. Do you know how to do you draw and stuff? No, I can't draw. You can't draw? You're, like you said, you're creative. That was your humble brag. Well, video editor, like. Yeah, so you do have to have that mind. Yeah. Yes, he's talented. Yeah, but like to put that to cross the sharpies yeah. like that, that was a That's great what I'm idea. My boy Brian, what? he knows what oh he's my doing. God, you guys, all right. I wouldn't have Th- thought of that. Thank you. Well, that just speaks more to you than it does to me. <laughs> and I'm artistic. You're autistic? Artistic. Oh, boy. Oh, my I bad. can draw. Oh, no. You're a cam girl? I can draw. Oh. Geez. A little bit. I can't I, draw. I used to draw horses all day long, every day when I was a young girl. I can I, write, actually. I'm like a good stories. Writer. I can write. Can you? Like, yeah. uh, well, obviously fiction. Yeah. I was uh, actually like, that was my English I was really good at. Really? Yeah. Creative writing? Yeah. 
Laura's ridden some horses too, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Not <stallions>. lately. Jeez. <laughs> I have to tell you guys something what? real quick. So m- my roommate, uh-huh. she encouraged me to get on a dating app. Oh no. Oh boy. I haven't. I've barely even scratched the surface of Hinge. Mm. It's Hinge. Unhinged is. <laughs> Already. Okay. Wait. I need to know what this means. Already there's one guy that I'm like, okay, he seems kind of cute and cool, but what does this mean, you guys? What does this mean? It's just it's just letters. I am a dot, 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 dot. So hold on, not this guy. Let me get, let me get my, okay, okay here it is. Um, let me get his profile. Okay, I am, okay, um, where is it? Um, okay, curated IQ slash EQ Parentheses I N F P slash T. What the, what the what hell does that? that mean? That's his personality type. That's what? the Myers Briggs test. That's like for. What does that mean? Oh, like, so is that's like what um, horoscopes for young girls are for like. Or it's like horoscopes for young girls except guys, middle aged guys. Oh, really? So is this guy a douchebag? No, not necessarily. But if they're like business minded, like, you know, real like, it's. He it's says uh, open minded. Type. Young at heart, uh-huh. yep. self love, no addicts. I'm like, well, does he? Whoops. What about recovering addicts? <laughs> uh oh. I personally think it's kind of bull, not bull, but it's you, it's a oversimplified way to to categorize something as complex as a personality. But he likes self love. Self love. He doesn't like narcissists. Anxious avoidance. Who? Anxious. What is oh. that? That's his attachment style. Oh. Spiritual God. seeker. It's not good. And then, uh, and then also edgy it his a key to his heart, edgy it geek. That's not you. No, snow, jeeper. That's me. I have what? a jeep. Karaoke, I do that, and poker. Okay. Oh, DIY or handy AF. Oh, that's totally you. I mean, <laughs> did you did, no. show him a picture of that chair? The fact that you, <gasps> I am a DIYer. Yeah, you are. The, I no. The fact he put ancient avoidant in his per, his bio, I what would is, avoid that. What does that mean? It's an attachment. It's a psycho. It's a psychology term. It's a, your attachment style. Okay. It typically it's used to reference how how bad your childhood is. It's what type of attachment style you had to your your parent or your mother. Typically, so ancient avoidant is not a good one. I don't know. Car why you, nut, uh, okay. investor, Airbnb, beer, animal rescue, and no. DOR. A- handy flags. AF. He Red says flags. too many, too many things in his bio. I know. I you know what Airbnb. I know. And you know what? He had like emojis by each one of them too. Oh, Ooh, no. Lame. He's that's kinda, that's a girl. I, that's a chick. <laughs> I know. What dude does that's a that? Catfish. <laughs> My age. Okay. I wanted to show you a friend of mine. She's she lives in Arizona and she's dating again. Yes. After being married for a long time. Yes. And a guy hit her up and this was his profile picture. Is, Hold on, I'm okay, gonna, is is it oh scary? God. Is oh, it funny? It, is it I, was it cute? That anybody did would he put think this it was handsome? As their profile. Oh, and now I don't even know what I did with anyway. it. Anyway, oh, I might have deleted it. She sent it to me, and I was all, <gasps> "What?" It was, was it just scary looking? It was. It looked like he had murdered somebody. It looked like he was covered in blood. I feel sorry for guys because they don't generally like. You have to take a gym selfie. You have to take a bathroom selfie because generally nope. guys don't really aren't aren't really picture takers you know what i mean so like then you might have to become a picture taker for a brief time okay honestly i think dating apps are not the best way to meet people too how is somebody like me gonna be on my go out or something i don't know well you can't go to bars obviously i can go to bars I, I can go to bars all day long that that yeah but the, the main motive of guys flirting in bars is to buy you a drink so they can buy me a coca-cola that's so boring <laughs> i'm not bo- am i boring you are not boring i'm anything but boring uh well anyways i don't know i just think dating not the dating apps are terrible yeah besides bars besides bars yeah. and besides okay. work which i'm the, the park that is there could be and an, there could be a match at a dog park possibly just a, yes. a random meet cute i don't know at a grocery store is that ever happen? i don't go to the grocery store so that will like never happen at this age i mean i don't know you're all dating, i only but. buy gray food you know what <laughs> you know what i really really want and I'm being completely honest here. My entire life, even when I was married, I've always been the one taking care of people. Mm-hmm. You just want somebody to take care of you. 
I want to be a kept woman. Well, stop taking, stop being the one to take care of everyone then. I want somebody to, I want like, I want an old rich guy <laughs> who might be, I might be somewhat attracted to, <laughs> to well, just I take mean, care of me. I, mean, I want look, someone to take care of look, me. Look, at, the, at this age, you could be like Anna oh, Nicole Smith. Just I some would. dude that like, I'm so what if you, you have to give him a hand job like I, once every three seriously, years? Seriously. I'm not kidding. Listen, I'm tired. Need, you need connections for that. If she had like a room full of Birkins, you'd just be like, I don't even need sure. that. I, need I just want my hair. I want somebody to t- pay for my hair, my nails. I need my nails done, my toes done. I want. I want somebody to. I just want somebody to take care right. of me. Well, That's somebody take unhinged. care of me. It's not. You, need, you probably need to like. You need to be in like the big, like the elite circles for that. You have to be on like. Yeah, no. Didn't people. you say Raya was, or whatever that thing is? Didn't Raya. you say there was something on? Oh, isn't that where all the celebrities yes, are on it? Yes, but you have to be like invited. It's not as exclusive as you think, but you do have to be invited. Yeah. You could be on that one that you were on before, like Sugar Baby. Oh, Sugar yeah, Daddy I got kicked off though. Oh. Yeah, that's a bad idea. I forgot why, but I got kicked off. I, I can't even imagine. <laughs> I, don't, I think I did. I don't know what I did, but no more. But I wouldn't do that anymore. No, I, will, I won't do that. Because that, whatever. Anyway. I sent, I sent a picture of Laura. I was going editing photos and I sent a picture of that Laura had said to me and it was some dude's dick that I had redone artwork on. And it was like, it was, it it was a, it was a, a, the silhouette of a a face, like eating a hot dog. And she was like, what's that? And I was like, that's one of your, I know. I always send him my dick pics that I, that I get from these sites because usually that's what happens. You just, it's a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. Laura's like, hi. And they just send a dick pic. And I'm like, uh, that one sounds like a total. It were, it were due for one. We're, we are. You're due for an art project. Yeah, I am. I know. So I got I'll, my art app all, all right. ready to go. I'll get you one soon. Yeah. I'll, I'll make that my mission. All you have to do is say hello to somebody. <laughs> I know. Pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. All right. You guys have the best weekend ever. Thank you so much for listening to us. And we appreciate it so, so we much. We appreciate you. And, Love you. Thank you. Um, We'll be back next week with our smiling faces and our good attitudes. Right, everybody? Speak for yourself. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> okay. Love your podcast. I love you. See, now. Jesus wow. Christ. Talk to the man. Talk the to the man. Show. Talk to I, the man. I love Laura. I, I, I completely ended this perfectly. Right. He All he had to do was say three words and it would have been done. I did. I, I said, I love you. I don't know why we rely on him to end it. We should just end it. I love you. I know. Maybe you should end it because you will I go you. for it. You think I should just press this button? No, you say it. I Somebody else just, has to I say just it. press the button. Love your stop. podcast. Okay, there thank you. Love go. you. Bye, baby. Bye. <laughs> <There you go. laughs>